All right, guys, what is going on? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to program your Baofeng UV5R. Now, you do not need to be a ham radio expert to follow this tutorial. I am not an expert myself. In fact, you do not need to know what a lot of these settings even mean. You just need to plug them into the radio and you're good to go. I know very little about the terminology and even I can program a few frequencies in to hit my local repeaters and you know listen to all the old geezers talking over the radio waves. So this tutorial assumes you just bought the radio, you've done nothing with it, and now the first thing you want to do is change the language. So right away we're gonna hit the menu button on the radio, we're gonna punch in one four. This gets us to the voice setting. We're gonna hit menu once more. We're gonna hit the up arrow until we get to English and then hit menu again. You'll notice the radio confirms the settings and then you can hit exit to get out of the menu or simply punch in another menu number. Now to program a repeater into the radio, you need to know three things. I'll put them up on the screen here. You need to know the frequency of the repeater, the offset of the repeater, and the tone of the repeater. These are the only three settings you need to know to hit your local repeaters. I pulled this information off of repeaterbook.com. You guys could head over there, pull up your location, check out what kind of repeaters are around you and use these three settings to program your radio. So the first thing we want to do is make sure we're in frequency mode. You get into frequency mode by hitting this orange button right here. You press it once you enter into channel mode. You press it a second time it enters you into frequency mode. So the first thing I'm going to do is punch in the frequency. One, four, five, four, three, zero. <clears throat> you can see I'm already kind of getting some action here. And now I'm going to plug in both the offset and the tone. So to plug in the offset, I'm going to hit menu. I'm going to punch in 26. I'm going to hit menu again to get down to the number. And then I'm going to punch in the offset number. So in my case, this is 000.6. Zero, 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 zero. I'm going to hit menu again to send the settings to the radio. And as you notice, we have a negative frequency direction on the offset. So I'm gonna go ahead, hit menu again, punch in 25, menu option 25. I'm gonna hit menu here. Frequency direction. And I'm gonna make sure that that frequency direction is set to negative. As you can see, there's both an off, a positive, and a negative setting. I'm gonna change that to negative, hit menu to transmit the settings. Confirm. And I'm good to go. Now the last setting we need to change is the tone. So I'm going to once again menu. hit this menu option. I'm going to punch in number 13 on the keypad. And I'm going to hit menu to access the settings. And then I'm going to use the arrow keys to set the appropriate tone. In my case, this is 94.8. I'm going to hit menu to send the settings once again, Confirm. and I'm good to go. Now, if you want access to multiple channels, you need to assign these repeater frequencies to a particular channel in the radio. So we just set up our first repeater. Now we have to assign that frequency to a channel. To assign a frequency to a channel, hit menu. menu. Navigate to menu number 27 on the radio. Menu number 27. Hit menu. Memory channel. And as you can see here, here's all the channels. 
if a if a channel has a ch next to it that means it's in use so we scroll up until we find a number that does not have that channel next to it and then we simply hit menu to send the current frequency to the channel we're going to hit exit now we're going to hit this orange button to enter into channel mode and if all went well we should see the repeater we just programmed on on the channel so there it is right there channel one with the repeater that we just programmed you can program lots of channels into this radio to program more channels just simply follow the steps in the beginning of the video once again making sure you're in frequency mode to enter your frequency, frequency mode. and then just follow those first few steps outlined in the beginning of the video now once you have all of those channels programmed all the channels that you want one thing a lot of people like to do is they like to scan through all of the channels they have programmed now to do so you enter into your channel mode by hitting the orange button channel mode. and then hold down this scan button Scanning begin. and then the Baofeng will just kind of scan through all the channels that you have programmed and if it senses a signal coming through it will stop on that channel okay guys very easy stuff if you guys have any questions drop a comment below you know subscribe to the channel if you like this content this is not a ham radio channel per se but uh you know i might drop some other interesting stuff in the future if you like nerdy techie type stuff stay tuned thank you for watching and uh i'll see you very soon peace